Thank you, Katie and Chancellor Chenoweth, for this incredible opportunity that you've given me. Thank you to the faculty and staff of UW-Whitewater, past, present, and future, for allowing us, the students, to learn, to fail, to grow, and to dream of who we were meant to be. And thank you, graduates of 2022 and their family, uh, for allowing me to talk to you as you embark on your new beginning. I have to admit, when I got off the phone with the alumni staff and I received notice that I was asked to be the commencement speaker, I broke down to my knees and cried. Why? I told, I too started my new beginning almost a year ago. I couldn't explain why I moved to Central America, Costa Rica for that matter. But at 51 years old, I realized I didn't have to explain or justify myself anymore. But then I realized I never did. Let me explain. Growing up in Whitewater, Wisconsin, there's not much access to an ocean, or water for that matter. But I wanted to work with marine mammals. Unfortunately, my high school counselor suggested that I move to the ocean and that I'm not going to make much money. Another example, I remember watching the Ironman World Championship on TV at 17 years old. And some of you parents may remember the ABC Wide World of Sports, the thrill of victory and the agony of, the, of defeat. An Ironman triathlon is a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike, and a 26.2 marathon run. I told my mom and grandpa that I too, at 17 years old, will accomplish the Ironman World Championship one day. But here lies the problem. I hate running. <laughs> and I was never good at it. What I started realizing during this journey called life, I wasn't listening to society's norm of what I should do. I listened to what my heart wanted to do and what, my, what fulfilled my soul. Yes, I did move out of Whitewater to pursue my dream of 14 years working with marine mammals, such as California sea lions, Pacific white-sided dolphins, beluga whales, otters, and killer whales. But I didn't have to move closer to an ocean for that. I was in San Antonio, Texas for most of my career. And let's not talk about the money situation. Sure, I had to learn how to run efficiently and fast and had to get good at running, which after 28 years old, excuse me, which after 28 years allowed me to qualify and participate in the Ironman World Championship in Kona, Hawaii in 2017. So yes, I got good at something I hated. I moved to a new country because of my first love, to return to my first love, the ocean. Could I have moved somewhere in the East Coast, West Coast, South, in the United States? 100%. But what I realized, it wasn't here. Costa Rica had my heart. Here's the thing, I want you to do the same. I want you to listen to your heart and your soul. I don't want you to listen to those fear mongers or those naysayers, because if I had done that, I wouldn't be where I, where I am today. So, how did I get where I am today? Since I only have eight to 10 minutes, I wanna share an acronym that I put together just recently over the last few years. It's B D E. B. Become a butterfly. I think of this quote that I had on my journal and my coffee table for the last year. Just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. Anonymous. There will be times in your life when you will want to go in that cocoon. It will be dark. It will be scary and you will have no idea what's gonna happen on the other side. And that's okay. 
You're going to have those moments. We all do. Life will test and challenge us. But I need you to remember your D. What are your dreams? What are your goals? What are your passion? What is in that heart of yours? Dig deep. What's that dream? The caterpillar knew precisely what it had to do. It had to go up and down that tree, climb a plant, maybe flip over a couple times, gather food, and it built its cocoon. It didn't question it. They didn't ask their parents or friends or society on what they should do. They just did it. The caterpillar allowed itself to be, to grow through the lessons of life. Of course, you're going to want to discuss your dreams and your goals with your families and friends, but don't let them deter you from your goals. E, every day. Every day, I want you to express your gratitude during some of the most challenging times of my life. I expressed gratitude every single day, whether it was in the morning, in the afternoon, or w before I shut my eyes. I say three thank yous to the universe, and I still do to this day. My first thank you. I say thank you for my past. I am grateful my, for my wins. I am grateful for my learnings. And I am grateful for everything in, the, in between in the past. I thank the universe for allowing me to grow and believe in my journey. My second thank you, I thank you for the now, the present. I express my gratitude for what is currently surrounding me, whether I'm sitting on the beach in Costa Rica, writing my speech, or I'm sitting here talking to you. My third thank you is I thank you for my future. Oh, I don't know what my future's going to bring, but I don't need to know anymore. I can now look back at my past, stay present on who I am and who I've become and not worry about who I will be, because I already know who I am. So you might be asking, well, BDE is great, Jen, but what does BDE mean? Best day ever. If you wake up every morning thinking you're going to have the best day ever, what a great way to start your day, by being that butterfly that never forgets their dreams and goals, and expresses gratitude every day, you will start your day off right. And here's the thing. When that caterpillar went into its cocoon, it didn't know it was going to be a beautiful butterfly, or a moth for that matter. The same goes for you. When you go out to the world to start your journey, you may second guess who you are, not once, many times. And you will have those moments of who you were meant to be. But don't. Because I wish I heard this same exact speech sitting where you are today. The heart knows. So does the caterpillar. I want you to become that butterfly and learn to fly into your new beginnings. Pure to Vida. And thank you.